and then all right we're recording we're going to do some show and tell and um who would like to show their work anyone want to volunteer i will i don't care okay is that colleen yeah all right give me a moment because i have to put you in the spotlight all right there's colleen's work oh my gosh keep coming up wow that really helped i was able I'm having to, to do this man i'm having to do this manually I was able to lighten, getting some light in there with this. This works mm -hmm. really good. So okay. it works well, that did it. It works best with good, really good quality paper, by the way, that. So I it's had, to keep I had trouble duplicating the marks you made down here. Yeah. Well, that all that is, is a matter of just continuing at one. Now it's dry. Go over it again with a slightly darker area same technique and build it up and and what you need to do as well on top of that you know end of your brush you need to once you've flicked little bits on like a little flicky kind of process just get the end of your brush and, and like like scribe into it you, you know like a, a, okay uh, Colleen, did you trace um, the photograph, or did you just do that freehand? I tra I cheated. I traced. Okay, I'm just curious because <laughs> it's really pretty awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. It's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you've done really well with that. You've got all, all the elements mm -hmm. that are necessary for it. Yeah, it looks good, Colleen. Very nice. Do, just think on, we're in a live situation and uh, we're painting as, make it nice and wet. Okay, yeah, I've not seen any difference. It needs to be re really juicy and wet and, and just flick it and move it about a bit. Like just haphazard? Much, much, yeah, haphazard, but much more. Put your brush down on it hard. And, um, that's it. Now, now turn your brush round. No, no, turn it round to the other end. Your other end of your brush, opposite end. Oh, opposite, opposite end. end. Of the handle. The, stick. the handle. Oh, yeah, no, the handle. The handle on the brush. Yeah. Uh, no, the, turn it round. Opposite. Use the handle to make marks. Oh. Use it quickly. You have to do it quickly. The handle. Yeah. Flick it. Use it. Use it. Flick. <laughs> flick. 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 Flick, flick, flick to make little grasses. Yes. Oh, that's very oh. cool. Oh. Scrape well, that... maybe would have been a better word. Scrape. <laughs> it had probably gone just slightly too dry, but yeah. if you get it wet mm -hmm. uh -huh. and build them up in little bits, yeah. you know, cool. go to that's another cool. area now and, and do another area. Oh, yeah. that really made a difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. The brush has more than one one part to it. Some brushes are made specifically to do that. Mm. Oh wow, that's clever. Yeah, that's great. Your your picture is just beautiful. Yeah, now she's gonna right. go to oh. town here. Okay, now I guess. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Uh, 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 make it more random as you're doing it. Flick uh, it's really nice if you like flick paint on as well. Yeah. Like you pretend like it's grass blowing in. Yeah. It. Blop, 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 and then just like put your put. Yeah. It, it's about making it smaller, and that's just for your foreground. It's awesome. Now you can put other colors in it to oh. to give it even more. Oh, so like colors. some lighter colors, so that way. You yeah. Jerry, why don't you go ahead and unmute everybody so that they can talk too? Because yeah, some of them are saying not. it's nice, and Holly mm -hmm. said she got as far as the water. So <laughs> why don't you unmute everybody? So that they can say, oh, it's nice. <laughs> there you go. Holly comes to my stream. I didn't know she was You might want to put a little bit of slightly dark blue in it. Dark blue? Okay. Yeah, well, it's, you know, don't, don't just apply it. Just just flick it onto it. You know, flick, 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 flick. Okay. Flick. Make sure you've got plenty. Of, you, you, your, your brush is juicy. As in, it's got lots of paint on it. Lots of that's it. Get splatty. Oh, look at her! Oh, now, wow. Um, now turn your brush round and, and and drag it through. 
drag it through the bits that you've just splattered. Okay. Just no, splattered. just on the bits that you've splattered. Okay, just here, which would be... My yeah, no, down. Down. Yeah. Grass goes down, doesn't it? Up and down? Yeah. Up and down. Oh, shoot. Uh, just, just, on the, just on the bits mm -hmm. that you've splattered. <laughs> okay, so flick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then, and and then, then up and down. Uh, and you can do that and put little bits of blue and yellow and red, oh, and there wow. can be flowers. It looks like little tufts of grass that way. Yeah. Little wildflowers. Yeah. It looks pretty awesome. And, and, and yeah. a dark blue in, in it will, will help it tonally speaking, because you will see all, in the foreground, you will see loads and loads of colors, mm -hmm. even dark areas. And the farther you get away, the less you see colors. <laughs> that is awesome. How fun is this? Oh, very nice. Hey, hey, I wish you could get that out. Yeah, it's like the variations, and it doesn't look just like a, a kid painted it, where it was just like, <laughs> right? I'm not showing. That's it. That, well, that's all it needed. It just needed a couple more layers. Yeah. And, and don't think that once you've painted it, that's that's it done. You, you need to put other layering over it oh, my to bad. give it a sense of depth. I have flicks in my clouds too. If it's that critical, it, what you do is you just put a piece of paper in in the area that you don't want. Mm. Oh, that would have been bit, smart. You know, just to mask it. To cover that up and then... Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, that'd be better. This is tip time. <laughs> Because I, do. Tips. I mean, yeah. it's not as though you can't get rid of them by just dabbing some of that magic sponge over it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Well, and then it makes go. it look like layers of uh, grasses yes. are like growing and you get the depth. Ah, I get it. It's wonderful. So you just you just need it. You just need your pain to be. She's never gonna to stop. Be, She's gonna keep more work. <laughs> a bit, a bit more work <laughs> Scraping. You go, and you go Colleen. Extra bonus lesson. <laughs> that, that, that was perfect. Thank you. Right. Well, like, well, thank you. Well, so, it, it, has, has that answered your question for you? Yes. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Although you will get splatters all over everything. I know. She's making a mess on her table, but who cares? In the oh, name of my hands, my arms, <laughs> <laughs> my face. <laughs> Anybody else want to show their, right. their work? I'll, anyway, I'll show. Well, well done. Well on, done, Barbara. Barbara. Barbara, I want to ask a question. Barb, oh, wait. Yeah. I can't find you. Hold on a second. Here you are. All right. Let me put you in the spotlight. All right, Barb. Go oh. Ahead. oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, so. Oh. Is that Look, you, Barb? I did a no-no, Ian. I went, over, I went over it with a pen. A pen? <laughs> Yeah. There's nice. nothing wrong with that. You can call it a pen and wash. Oh, look how pretty. It's with gorgeous. A and a dog. Yeah. So you've created your own interpretation. Yeah, oh, I did. Gosh, yeah, I good. love it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to put a uh, double door here. Well, so they can look out uh, on their little lake. There you go. Oh, my gosh, Barb. Well, Barb, your you colors know, what, are very soft. Your, 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 your painting in, in, is in a much more exotic place than it, it's probably Scotland, this where it was painted, isn't it? So no, yeah, no. your colors are very soft. They're very, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, very soft. Very and you sketched yours out, right, Barb, ahead of time? Yeah, I just sketched it because my, my picture wasn't the right size, so I just had to put it down there. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so it's not it's not a no no to add the pen strokes. Uh, no, as long, as long as you subtle, as long as you subtle with it, look up pen and wash. Okay, uh, and you'll find that watercolor artists use pens to uh, do illustrative artwork with watercolor and pen. Okay, so yeah, so because I I think I want to add some pen lines to this and maybe my clouds. Like in the um, I, uh, you know with soft you know with soft uh, cloudy type stuff, I'd leave it with the cloud and only do very 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 tiny thin thin lines in the background. The closer right. you get, the closer you get, 
the stronger the line. So the things in the background should should not have any lines on it. Okay, not yeah? no lines. Okay, yeah, and, and okay. that'll help with the sense of depth. All right, wonderful. Yeah. Gosh, Barb, thank you so much for Love sharing. It. Well, this was great. great. Fruit coolers as well. Anybody else want to share? I've never done this before in my life. I'm so proud of myself. I'll go. Barb, who said that? Monica. All right. Gosh, great, I can't Barbara. Believe you've never done that anything, Barb. No, I haven't. Barb, you, you're oh my God. God. That's impressive. Yes. All right, Monica, it's your turn. Oh, Barbara, your painting is fabulous. I left a little note that pen and wash is, it's a classic among watercolors and Ian knows what he's talking about. So. Oh, okay, you thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Have a go at it. It's a really interesting uh, yeah. way of doing it. Um, Ian, thank you so much for this lesson. I was making some notes and then I started playing along. So now I have some little yeah. swatches. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Great, that's a great idea. Yeah, because then it will actually help me so I can see what it's supposed to look like. My, my gray, gray dated is going to need a little practice, but I've got the general <laughs> gist a bit here. Yeah. And then I got a splotchy on my variegated, um, my, no, my uh, wet on wet, because this wasn't yeah. fully dry and I touched it by accident. And oh, there, right. what, what, yeah, yeah that's, called, that's called a backwash or a cauliflower. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so if I, touch, if I touch it while it's still wet and lift off the paint, then, then we get cauliflower. Yeah. Okay. I'll make it. Note of that. Sometimes you want that. Sometimes you want that as a technique. Right. Okay. So I'm I'm just making a quick note yeah. here. Cauliflower, and then I'll I'll you know make. A that, foam. That's because but, water's being reintroduced to something that's still drying. Okay, that's helpful to know because I I just I muck about mm. with watercolors. So oh, having the about. I like those. So, so what what have you used today? <sighs> Yeah, Monica. Yeah, okay, what yeah. Um, I've studied a little art, but I never studied watercolor. And I put in the comments earlier that what I do is I kind of a, approach it like it's a wet color pencil. So having these techniques is going to be a lot more helpful in the future. I know sometimes if I have extra paint, I can add a little water to after the fact and wash it away. Um, I've played with different kinds of watercolor paints. Right now, my favorite pan paints are the Jack Richeson. What? And this is, this, this is a really nice set of 24 because what happens is you open it and then you lift out the tray. Oh, nice. So you have, wow. Yeah, you have all of these paints and then you can kind of use this as a palette so you can see I've already been mixing colors in the past. So a lot, have you a lot, of, those? A lot of crafters uh, will probably use uh, something like that. Yeah, because like I said, I, I just play around. I don't yeah. have, well, I have a really old set of tubes my um, mother gave right. me ages ago, and the two paints are still fairly good. Actually, they, I mean, they, they don't look chalky, so they look, they look okay, actually. They've got yes. a bit of a glaze on them. Yes, okay, so I thank you for bringing that part up, because one thing I wanted to mention that I have learned when I've played with other watercolor paints is the cheap yeah. sets. Yeah. They're powder-based, and it leaves a chalk resist. Uh, you know, uh, residue. Yeah, chalkiness on it, yeah. I, it does, yeah. I hate that. It is. It's horrible. It's, it, it, it's a filler that they put in it for cheapness. Yeah. So it's, it's and you can pretend. tell you, you can tell that it ain't got that because it's got that almost glossy glaze on yes. the on them. Yeah, yeah. If you look, they've got a, like a slight glossiness to them. Yeah. So now if, you can if, see if, the shine. If, the if they like that, they're fine. They'll be fine then, yeah. You can see a, a, a glaziness. Yeah, you can see the shimmer as I'm kind of playing with yeah. the light here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and this kind of paint is generally known as um, semi-moist here in the States. I don't yeah. know what it's called. Yeah, that's, that's what it's normally called, yeah. Okay, so they're semi-moist and it will usually say on the container. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but some of the too. cheaper ones, they look really cute mm. and colorful, but I found that they are powder-based. It leaves a residue mm. after the fact, and you can start brushing it off. They're basically just tempura paints. Yeah. 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 Just not as uh, brilliant what, what, in color as real. Little kids get given when they're at school to play with. Yes. Yes. So, so be careful not to get them, because they're not appropriate. Yeah, that's, that's something I, I, I share with some when they start asking because I, I like the semi-moist because it dries better it dries that must mean that must mean they uh, have 
only in them? Not all do. I don't know that this does. The M gram that you talked about on their yeah. website, they say honey based. And I yeah. think there was another brand. I used to work in an art supply store until fairly recently. Um, right. There was another brand. I don't know if it was Rembrandt or not or something else that also has honey in there. Uh, Chenelier. Sennelier, yeah. Thank you. So it's M. Graham and Sennelier. They have honey-based watercolor in their paints. I'm not sure exactly. Well, M. Graham says something about it on their website, so you can go yeah, and read it. And I left yeah. that link here. But um, I guess there's something about it that's more natural, so it dries better and yeah. blends. Well, blah, 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 it blah, helps blah. in all sorts of ways. Yeah. So let's have a look at your painting then. Okay, so um, I printed it out on 80 weight cardstock paper. Right. So it's not really watercolor paper because I just, I, I didn't, I, Jerry had a blog and I was listening to it this morning. She's like, oh, and trace it off on watercolor paper. I'm like, oh my God, no, I'm not going to have that kind of time because it was like 9.30 already. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to print it on cardstock. Um, my boyfriend was trying to kind of play with some of it to try and remove some of the gray part. Um, but then I forgot that our printer starts to go off the rails when water is applied. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, you know, you know if you want to if you want to do it, do what I did. Uh, put it up on your screen, get a piece of tracing paper or a piece of, uh, you, you know, uh, the type of paper you use for uh, greaseproof paper. Oh, like put it on your screen, put it on your screen, tape it up and just trace it off of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I wound up printing it on cardstock and yeah. then I wound up using some paper towel because um, it wasn't fully drying. So I just smeared some of the ink around to give it a little okay. underneath. Did you have fun, Monica? I had fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> and because watercolor is really about impression, oh. right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Well, that's that, that's that, that wonderful. Is, yeah. so I was working from the photograph You've, you've got the, I, I had it here, like in the corner of my screen, and I, oh. I screen shared if I wanted. So I was trying to capture the darkness that was at the top yeah. of the graph. The clouds yeah. are so white. And then, like, which side is it? Okay, I noticed in the photograph that, like, there was a lot of light happening here, and, yeah. and the mountains, the mountain mm. geography was really gray compared to the yeah. other side where it was yeah. more brown. Yeah. Well, that's that's what you call that's what you call uh, atmospheric perspective. When you go backwards, it, it goes grayer. Yeah. But when you come forwards, it, it it goes more colorful and more adjusted in tonal value. Okay. Yeah. That's something I always like. worth. Uh, but I, I like that. It's it's like got a quick kind of um, expressive, mm -hmm. loose feel. Right. To it. Work. Yeah, if if I'm as well. trying to just capture something really quickly with watercolor, that's what I generally shoot for mm -hmm. that way. I mean, for me, it's not that far off using up press paper, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Because that's that that has little or no texture to it, right? Right, uh, because it's cardstock. It, it, it feels it's like what you like get from press. an up press pa uh, paper painting. Yeah, so so the cardstock is smooth like hot press, so it doesn't have any yeah. texture to it. But you can't go over it too much with the water because then it starts to peel apart. Well, that's the difference yeah. between that card and, and up pressed paper. You can keep going over it with yeah. up pressed paper. But if that's all you've got, then you've done well. I mean, I start, believe it or not, that's what I started off. I got, yeah. some, I got some crafting uh, crafting card and I did some painting on that. And, and that's how I started. Yeah. yeah she I mean, it's, it's great for just playing around. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. It. And, you know, if you're traveling and you really did want to just capture really quickly the mm -hmm. essence, mm -hmm. yeah. the impression, mm -hmm. this is great stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. That's wonderful, yes. Monica. Thank you. So that's what I was trying to great. do, really, because once, once the ink started smearing everywhere, I'm like, okay, well, forget it. I'm not going to get a really great one, but I can mm -hmm. still make a good impression and play around mm -hmm. with learning some of the color techniques mm -hmm. and, right. and just imply, you know, the roof thing happening. And Well, Monica, Mary was saying that she was deliberately using water-soluble ink ah. and then working that into her design. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with it being a kind of mixed media type of watercolor. Watercolor is just one element within the painting. Mm -hmm. 
If right. you want to look at more mixed media, by all means, go <clears> for it. Yeah, I mean, if I wanted, I could probably just add some of my watercolor pencils to make a little more mm. defined leafiness and yeah. green and grassy. Yeah, here and yeah. it's another way to... Or what are you wanting to achieve? I mean, the thing is, it's a bit of a juxtaposition, this, because in the foreground, you, uh, you want detail, but at the edge, you're wanting it to fade out as though it, that's the end of the painting. So you've got to be careful not to put too much detail at the edge. Yeah. Which is, which is what you've done. You've, you've actually made it go fade away. Okay. So that helps you go back uh. into the... That helps you go back into the um, into the building. Okay. If, if there were too much detail in for in foreground, it would compete with the, the the house. Okay, so that makes sense. The fact that you've like let it all like softly fade out towards you is okay. a bonus. Yeah, looks great. great. <laughs> this is really useful, Ian, to have your yeah. feedback. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ian, for this lesson, because just like I said, being able to do this means that I'll, I'll have some more options with some of my other... Yeah, I mean, later. if anything, if you want to really practice, do that thing that we did at first is the first step to do. Yeah. Get control of the things that we did at the beginning, okay. you know, that practice thing that we did. Yeah. And then you can move on to more complex paintings and do them very small to start with. Okay. Just coming in. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much. This has been really great. Thanks, Monica. That's um, great. That. Thank anybody you. Else, would anybody else like to um, show? Mary, I'm dying to see yours. Would you? Hi, Cindy. Welcome. Cindy has just joined us. Oh. Welcome, Cindy. Glad to have oh, you nice here. Mary and, and Mary yeah, and I'll show yeah. mine if you show my show my second camera showing down at my desk. Okay, Mary. Um, this is uh. Oh, is that Mary no. That's Mary's. Oh, my no. God. I don't think I can zoom because, well, I might be able to zoom on my, um, let me get my, hold it. Let's, can I, you see I can't it? find, how come, I, how come I'm not going to it, uh, whoever it is on the camera? I can't hear you, Ian. I'm sure, Ian. Hold, hold a second. Hold one second here. I Ian, her. touch the, touch her name and, and pin the video. I, I can't find Mary's second name. Uh, go to gallery view. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see it now. Go to gallery yeah. view and then and then touch her. There video. we go. Gosh, man. There we go. Oh, wait, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. You've got you. So got yeah, that, oh, yeah, I oh, want to God. talk about the pen and ink though because you'll find that I'm very much an urban sketcher. And if you watch urban sketching, you will see a lot of pen and ink drawings. Yeah. And so just using pen and ink comes natural for me um, mm -hmm. because I do a lot of urban sketching. I don't do a lot of big, wide water coloring. I, mostly because I don't have the space. This is 15 by 11 by 15 paper. Yeah. So, and I... I did this building and because I'm working off of my camera, I don't see too much of the detail. So I wanted to practice this building a little bit more. I'm noticing that there's some things that I missed. There's some sheep out here and there was yeah. a fence here. I couldn't see all that on my phone. Uh -huh. I could barely see this little building over in here. But I had a lot of fun doing it. I think it's wonderful, Mary. Look at that. I like, I, like, I, like, I like the compositional arrangement with the other building. Yeah. It really works. It's kind of fun it. just to plop that other building in front of it. <laughs> what kind of um, watercolor paint did you use, Mary? I can't hear you, Jerry. What did you use? Um, you know, what paint did you use? I used two things. I used the Winsor Newton Cotterman, which is, uh, I think, a student grade. Or uh, might be a, it's not the professional kind. No. It's a good, it's kind a good to get it off the lobby. I used these. And then I also used these that were gifted to me by Deborah Mayo. So mm -hmm. these are the, um, oh, what's her name over in Australia? Name escapes me right offhand. Oh, what the caller. Yeah, I know you Jane Davenport. Oh, Jane Davenport. Davenport. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What the decadent, decadent pie? So, and these colors are very, they, this blue, this blue is a very pretty blue. I love mm. these colors. This is yeah, a new earth tone palette. Like so this is the earth tone palette, and I guess this is called the bright. So 
One is Brights and one is Earth Tone, and I get them mixed up. I, I, I think one's called <laughs> Decadent Pie, isn't it? As, as so, well there that. it is. Mary, do you, sketch, do you sketch out your um, land? I did sketch it because I couldn't print it off. I sketched it, and of course, it's using a larger paper. Okay. So, yeah, I did sketch it. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? No? AJ, can you share? I'm very curious to see what AJ is doing. Oh, no, we got her icon here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to undo her. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll tweet her because I'm friends with her. See if she'll okay. post it. Okay. Um, I did want to ask if anyone is willing to send me a photograph. I would love to put it um, on my website in my gallery. Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll send mine in. All right, good. Good, I'll Anne. I'll send it. Um, you can send it to Recycled Parts uh, for Art, and that's with the number four at gmail.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the chat. Okay, Recycle Arts. Recycle I've got to fuss around with mine a little bit longer. Gmail.com. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me. I'm gonna write it. For... <laughs> yeah, just do final little bits, Barbara, but make sure you you don't overdo it because you see it. It's in the um. Oh, I sent it to Barbax. You, you can really easily get to a stage where you're overworking your art uh, with watercolor if you're not careful. Oh, okay. so maybe I should you're just stop. Okay. Oh, I see it. Thank Here's you. my address. Yes, please. Please send it and then I'll put it in the gallery. It would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what Holly does because Holly's a very talented artist. <laughs> oh, she's going to show hers. She's not oh. sure how. Holly, Do you, you mind if your face shows Holly? Has as Ollie got she, any... You, okay. do, you, you don't want your face to show or it's okay to, for your face to show? Because uh, Jerry is recording. No face. Um, can you point the camera down at your work? You can't got a camera that's showing. You're going to try. Okay. Jerry, why don't you put it on pause while she's trying to aim the camera? Okay. And, um, I'll ask, my, so I'll ask my, you that question again then. This <laughs> what, is my what, little what? ugly painting. <laughs> oh, look. oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love it. That's good. I love wow. the contrast. Yeah. You know, you know, you know what that gives me? It's got that like uh, strong line artwork. Mm -hmm. it's, got, it's, it's, it's got a, a really it's got a real feel of structure to it. If you if, yes. if you see on the the yes. side of the wall, it's yeah. got definite strong lines. It's and, good, yes. uh, against, very against very strong, expressive. Uh, against them strong colours, that works really well. That is cool. Deborah, did you do your um, sampling on the back? I saw something on the back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what you want to do with that, Deborah, is okay. write on them. Write on them which ones they are, and then you'll remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah, great. Okay. This is good fun. Right, is good it's fun. nice to see you in the flesh anyway. I see you're around in different groups and that, but that's yeah. the first time I've bumped into you in the flesh, as it were. Yeah, I float around. <laughs> it's good to have a face with the name. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. We all float around. We're, we're all every place. All right. We're all floaters. So, AJ, did you show yours? You don't want to see this on the recording. Oh, they, we do oh, want to see everybody's eyes. You don't have to record it. No, I'll stop. I'll just say. And even if you've not done today's lesson, we want to see. We had a positive. Hello, Ian. Ian, we've been on pause. We've been doing a little. Show well, Tanya's. Mm -hmm. oh, go on, I'm Tanya. sorry. Is Tanya? I was going to say, is Tanya teaching next week? Uh, yeah, next not month? Tanya is teaching next month. And yeah. so, um, yeah. But it'll be in the middle of the week. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me okay. grab. Let me grab my calendar. Have, have you got anything to show Tanya? Tanya? Do you want me to show it, Jerry? Why if you not? have it, sure you can. Yeah, you got okay, it. give me give me two seconds to get it. 
Okay. Um, so, no, three seconds. All right. Oh, one, two, <laughs> three. Your time's up. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording, but um, I'm not going to have her project on the recording. But thank you so much, Ian, for showing us how to do the watercolor. Yeah, thank yes, you. Yes, Ian, this has been it. wonderful. Yeah, I loved, I loved it. it. Right. Thank you. Right. Just enough Hi, information. So, yes. so it was Tanya. We'll have him back for, for um, watercolor one. What, what, what brushes and brushes have you used? What was this? 